Welcome to ATCM the Emergency Medicine Channel. Yes. A 54-year-old female presented to the ER with complaints of breathlessness and palpitation since one week. On our initial 10-second assessment, airway was patent, no secretions. Coming to breathing, air only bilaterally equal with a respiratory rate of 22 per minute, saturation of 97% in room air. Coming to circulation, BP of 140 bar 80 millimeters of mercury, pulse rate of 100 beats per minute. Coming to disability, GCS of E4, V5, M6, pupil bilaterally equally reacting to light. Coming to exposure, temperature of 98.2 degree Fahrenheit with a GRBS of 130 milligram per deciliter. Coming to adjuncts of primary survey, we have taken an ABG which showed a PHO 7.42, PCO2 of 32, PO2 of 82 and bicarb of 24. Sir. No acute acid based disorders as such. We have also taken an ECG which showed sinus tachycardia. Uh, coming to ample history, a 54 year old. Define sinus tachycardia and uh, ECG. Every P wave followed by QRS complex with a heart rate of more than 100. Sir. So that is very important. Heart, P wave has to be there. If P wave is not there or they are inverted or they are coming after the QRS complex with the tachycardia, what is your diagnosis? Uh, SVT. SVT. Which type of uh, SVT P wave can be inverted? Okay. From where it can be originated? Yeah, the, the, from the junction. Yeah. Okay. Coming to ample history, a 54-year-old female, no previous comorbidities present to the ER with complaints of breathlessness and palpitation since one week. Breathlessness was gradual, progressive, now corresponds to NYC grade 2. Uh, no history of any orthopnea or PND. Palpitation was episodic, lasting for 5 to 10 minutes, no postal diurnal variation. The patient also gave associated history of fatigue. Loss of appetite, uh, loss of weight despite good appetite. What is palpitation? Define palpitation. Undue awareness of one's own heart. Undue so uncomfortable awareness, awareness of, of one's own heartbeat. Heart what are the types of palpitation? What are the reasons for palpitation? Uh, reasons for palpitation, both physiological and pathological reasons are there. Physiological, physiological uh, patient can have anxiety, most common. Anxiety, PR. Uh -huh. Then pathological. Uh, pathological. Uh, cardiac and non cardiac. Uh, non cardiac. Card and on cardiac, thyroid, hypothyroid, uh, uh, thyroid, Common thing fever, can be anemia, anemia. Uh, then only thyroid, uh, uh, hyperthyroid, uh, uh, alcohol, alcohol can be there. Cardiological, uh, uh, sorry, uh, cardiological, cardiological, uh, one is tachyarrhythmias, uh, ACS, uh, okay. and um, any uh, mitral valve prolapse, structural abnormalities, okay. yeah, valve disease, cardiomyopathies, okay. and uh, like arrhythmias. Okay. I know history of any fever, altered sensorium, seizures, dysuria, chest pain, no other associated symptoms, no aggravating or relieving factors. No history of any similar episodes in the past. The patient is not currently on any medications. The patient has attained uh, menopause at uh, 48 years of age. The patient develops palpitation on standing up. What are the differential diagnoses? Sudden onset of palpitation on standing up. What will you suspect? Uh, autonomic autonomic dysfunction, dysfunction. okay uh, postural orthostatic tachycardia mm -hmm. syndrome then uh, myxomas atrial myxomas. myxomas these are the two important conditions where when when they stand up they get palpitation okay no history of any medications uh, the last meal was taken at 8:30 a.m Coming to examination, general examination, no pala, icterus, cyanosis or clubbing, no generalized lymphadenopathy or pedal edema. Uh, systemic examination, uh, respiratory system, air only bilateral equal, no added sounds, CVS S1, S2 present, no murmurs, uh, GAT abdomen soft, non tender bubble sounds were present, CNS, uh, GCS E4, V5, M6, no flaps were noted. At this point of time, we have sent the routine blood investigations and CBC, CRP, total count of 5000, HB of 12, platelet of 2,40,000. We have also sent other routine blood investigations which showed uh, serum TSH of uh, less than 0 0.005, uh, T4 of 3.88, uh, free T3 of 6.40. Sir. What does it mean? Uh, point towards uh, thyrotoxicosis, sir. Or probably Hyperthy primary hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism and thyrotoxicosis both are different. Hyperthyroidism is thyroid hormone, hormone is high. Yes. Thyrotoxicosis is uh, features of clinical uh, features, features of, of hyperthyroidism. hyperthyroidism. So this is. Clinical features are palpitations yes. are there. ECG does not show any uh, problem. Problems. But even then, other features we have to see. Yes. Now the thyroid hormones are very high. 
ഓക്കെ വട്ട് ആർ അതർ ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് തൈറോ ടോക്സിക്കോസിസ് തൈറോടോക്സിക്കോസിസ് പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ഹാവ് ഹൈപ്പർ ഇറിറ്റബിലിറ്റി ട്രമോസ് ക്യാൻ ബി ദ എക്സസൈസ് സ്വെറ്റിംഗ് ക്യാൻ ബി ദ പാൽപിറ്റേഷൻസ് ക്യാൻ ബി ദ ഡയറിയ പോളിയൂറിയ പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ഡെവലപ്പ് ഇൻ സിവിയർ കേസസ് ലൈക്ക് തൈറോയിഡ് സ്റ്റോം ദ പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ഡെവലപ്പ് ഫീവർ ഓൾട്ടേഡ് ബിഹേവിയർ സീഷ്യേഴ്സ് ഡിക്രീസ് റെസ്പോൺസ് ക്യാൻ ഡെവലപ്പ് ഹൈപ്പർ തൈറോയിഡിസം ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സെക്കൻഡറി ടു പ്രൈമറി ഹൈപ്പർ തൈറോയിസം സെക്കൻഡറി ടു ഗ്രേവ്സ് ഡിസീസ് there is activation of the t cells and increased glycosamine glycans that retains the fluid uh, so the character features can be ophthalmopathy dermopathy and acropathy now what will happen to the eye visually uh, what will happen to the eyes hyperthyroidism craves uh, disease uh, exophthalmos can be there sir proptosis, proptosis. exophthalmosis is different uh-huh. proptosis. proptosis okay you can see the upper part upper of the sclera white sclera. color can uh-huh. be seen okay and the signs we can see in uh, graves disease like okay. von griffith sign uh, lid lack and be okay. seen uh, mobius sign versus loss of accommodation reflex dal rumble sign other signs okay. can be seen uh, so in this patient uh, our primary initial diagnosis was so here the problem is heart rate is high okay, palpitations are there thyroid hormones are high okay, okay there is no fever there is no increase sweating nothing is there mm-hmm. but there is a uh, si- there is definitely a problem patient is having hyperthyroidism now not gone to the toxic phase of the okay. hyperthyroidism okay. so initially uh, we have started the patient on uh, propanolol sir mm-hmm. uh, propanolol uh, we have started uh, 40 mg uh, sr q12 which we have started sir what is the action of propanolol uh, beta blocker sir decreases the heart rate and also in uh, this case peripheral conversion is also okay. inhibited okay. Two, conversion. two reasons we are starting one it, uh, it act on uh, heart rate it reduces heart rate second thing it con- prevents the conversion of the t3 mm. third one one more reason is sir this is only beta blocker which can cross blood brain barrier so palpit uh, the neurological symptoms. problems also symptoms also can be relieved okay, okay. Uh, then secondly uh, we have started the patient on the uh, patient is having asthma what tablet you start instead of this beta uh, blocker calcium channel blocker calcium channel, channel blocker and uh, we then started the patient on anti thyroid medication sir okay. we have started on uh, carbimazole sir your okay. mercosol we have started what is the dose of carbimazole uh, usually we can look at the free t4 level if it is uh, 1 to 1.5 times higher we can start as 10 mg od okay. if uh, 1.5 to 2 we will start as uh, 20 mg uh, then uh, it is more than 2 we can start as 20 or 40 mg od okay. we can what is the dose we have started in this patient uh, we have started initially 10 mg bd sir yes okay. 10 mg that? od then we have started 10 mg bd what is the adverse sir. effect of this tablet uh, neomercosol uh, carbimazole and both metimazole can cause cholestatic jaundice cholestatic features can be very common uh, but it can be papilla rash can be the uh, most important side effect of this one these all can happen yeah. what will happen to the counts wb uh, granulocytosis can be so that is a dangerous uh, problem so if we have to monitor initially the counts okay then later nothing if nothing is happening can continue the drug can we give uh, this drug in pregnancy uh yes as in the first time so you uh, usually prefer uh, propyl thiouracil second or second third time uh, uh, so we can okay. so Uh, then we have sent the thyroid scintigraphy was done in this patient mm-hmm. uh, that uh, suggestive of increased trapping function of the thyroid gland suggestive of graves disease so what are the different types of thyroid uh, uptake in uh, hyperthyroidism in hyperthyroidism in graves disease uh, there will be diffuse uniform uptake will be there okay. if it is a uh, toxic nodule there is selective increased uptake okay. if it is thyroiditis then will be decreased uptake in the Which patient thyroiditis there are uh, different types of thyroiditis autoimmune thyroiditis is there viral thyroiditis is there which thyroiditis uh, diffi- the, viral know, thyroiditis is something viral thyroiditis yeah. that will be reduced yes, what will be other clinical findings of th- viral thyroiditis so the patient can have neck pain sir neck and pain. Pain. Painful. Painful. it will be pain, painful okay. thyroid toxicosis there then it becomes then it will become hyperthyroidism then, then it will become normal phase. thyroid so we have started the patient on these medications should we give uh, steroids in this type of uh, Uh, problems uh, if it is resistant we can give uh, steroids are not improving steroids Viral can be given uh, steroids can be given can be given okay uh, then here we have monitor the patient uh, what, the is a, what is a uh, other add on drug cholestramine cholestramine action of cholestramine uh, cholestramine uh, usually decreases the enterohepatic circulation of the thyroid hormones sir either if it is not reducing with anti thyroid medications or in the case of any thyroid hormone poisoning uh, okay. we can so it's uh, a very high uh, uncontrollable 
hyper thyroidism mm-hmm. only it is it has got some action otherwise it, it, it is not required so okay then uh, after 2 to 3 days the patient symptomatically improves then we discharge the patient on neomercosol and propranolol okay how long we have to monitor the patient how long you have to continue uh, this tablet 4 uh, to 8 weeks after uh, initiation of the tablets we need to monitor the tft sir okay what what will happen to the tsh what should happen to the tsh uh, which one do you monitor in hyperthyroidism uh, free t3 free t4 sir okay what will what will happen to the free t3 t4 uh, it will decrease okay suppose it is very low and tsh is high what do you do it is not uh, required for emergency doctor Increase what will happen sometimes it will be completely suppressed, suppressed. and there will not be thyroid hormone at all okay. at one point uh, completely it will be masked patient will not be, go to hypothyroid okay. phase but you cannot at the same time you cannot stop the drug so what do you do we can give you can thyrox- give thyroxine tablet okay. in a limited dose okay. so you will be continuing anti uh, thyroid drugs at the same time you will be continuing thyroid mm-hmm. hormone so okay so what happened to this patient afterwards uh, this patient sir we have discharged after 3 days so the patient symptomatically improved heart rate was around 70 beats per minute vital everything was stable and we discharged the patient so okay. what acute conditions can be produced by hyperthyroidism how do they present Uh, thyroid toxic rise or thyroid toxic um, storm is the most common um, acute What exacerbation. What is the common of, scenario, clinical scenario? Uh, both medical and surgical uh, causes are there. If the patient is having any sort of trauma, infections most commonly that trigger the uh, thyroid gland, or if the patient is not adequately prepared for a surgery, the, uh, the, thyroid, the thyroid status is not properly controlled, and the patient has been taken for surgery, mm. this can trigger okay. and causes life-threatening. So, What will be the clinical finding? Uh, life threatening means what will be the uh, congestive cardiac failure can be the is the most important problem patient will go to cardiac failure yes. okay so that can produce uh, acute problems okay in that condition how do you treat uh, initially uh, we have to start uh, dehydration cooling of the patient antibiotics along with that first line we have to give propyl thiouracil 1000 mg bolus dose okay. followed by uh, 250 mg or 400 mg every q6h you have to give But along with that propanolol can be given a uh, 60 mg q4h can be given and other iodides are uh, in, okay. we can, can also be, can given, be given associated sir. anything else you want to add uh, sir in the approach to hypothyroidism usually we think it is uh, decrease t3 t4 is hypo and increase its hypothyroidism actually when approach t3 t4 is increased it is hyperthyroxemia sir in that if it's free t3 free t4 free t3 free t4 will be normal sir decrease uh, clinical hyperthyroidism it uh, is clinical hyperthyroidism uh, no clinical symptoms sir okay. patient thyroid hormones are no, elevated no, 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 no clinical, clinical symptoms. symptoms so what will be the problem in that condition that is we don't treat that what will be the problem of that type of patients thyroid hormones are always slightly higher there is no finding nobody has start treatment for them what can happen to the patient cardiac failure in the future what lab huh? which part of your which organ in your body can be affected in that condition bones patient okay. can have long term uh, osteoporosis osteoporosis be. osteoporosis is the only pa- problem uh, that can produce the same thing can happen when you are treating the patient with the uh, thyroid hormone if you are slightly going higher dose of thyroid hormone then again uh, the same problem can occur okay. uh, so in t3 t4 increase it is hyperthyroxemia if it is free t3 free t4 that is increased that is thyroid toxicosis with symptoms if free t3 t4 increased uh, due to an overworking thyroid gland it is hyperthyroidism mm-hmm. if there is a normal gland that is youth thyroid uh, thyroid toxicosis if it is a total to- the t3 total t4 is increased that is youth thyroid hyperthyroxemia oh. uh, then we come to uh, sim- classification primary hyperthyroidism most commonly due to graves disease then if it is a single nodule toxic nodular goiter then it can be to multiple nodules and drugs that can cause uh, hyperthyroidism uh, like amiodarone can cause uh, thyroid toxicosis Initial both hyperthyroidism hyper- then hypothyroidism can be caused and to clinical features a patient can have hyper irritability uh, palpitation seat intolerance uh, in females there can be oligomenorrhea can be the mm-hmm. tremors can be there sir Okay. Uh, diagnosis based upon uh, the tft sir serum tsh we will send and based on that we will start the treatment first is what type of tremors can it can produce hyperthyroidism what is the type of tremor 
దిస్ మై ఫోర్త్ డ్రమర్ ఫోర్త్ డ్రమర్ ఆర్ ఫైన్ డ్రమర్ ఫైన్ డ్రమర్ ఇట్స్ ఫైన్ డ్రమర్ ఇట్స్ వెరీ ఫైన్ డ్రమర్ and treatment mainly antithyroid medications uh, we will start the patient on beta blockers mm. and also uh, carbimazole methimazole or uh, propyl thiouracil carbimazole 5 mg equal to methimazole 3 mg and propyl thiouracil 250 mg okay right. what is hamburger toxicosis it is not seen in our country hamburger toxicosis hamburger what is it hamburgers are produced with thyroid gland of uh, cow sometimes it can produce hyperthyroid features that is not seen in our country but it is described any tissue which contains thyroid hormone if you take it you can also develop some features of hyperthyroid so transiently okay viral thyroiditis how do they present uh, that is very common in our country uh, the patient gives history of a fever one or two weeks back along with uh, pain in the neck sir mm, what will be the peculiar uh, finding in that type of patients heart rate what will happen mm. heart rate mm. what will happen to heart rate mm. huh? usually in hypothyroidism heart rate should increase but in this case uh, hyperthyroidism it will be disproportionate mm. viral thyroiditis the problem is patient can have mild fever but heart rate will be very high 140 150 that that range okay what what type of uh, increase in heart rate they are called as in uh, uh, typhoid what type of heart related to tachycardia just opposite related to tachycardia related to tachycardia is due to either due to thyro- viral thyroiditis or due to a problem in the myocardium myocarditis both are very classically seen in uh, viral diseases okay so some patients you can see fever will be very mild but heart rate will be very high in that condition you have to always suspect viral thyroiditis what is the treatment for that Uh, you need to uh, monitor the patient and steroids steroid may be helpful be given, in that sir. condition okay because inflammation can actually come down otherwise after sometimes uh, some patients may go to hypothyroidism okay anything else i think okay thank you thanks